Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm coloring my viewers' pictures. I announced on Instagram, Twitter, and my channel's community tab that I would be doing this again. I have colored my viewers' line art in previous videos and I always have a lot of fun doing it. And I went through all of the submissions. I think there are around 600 of them. My sister and I had a lot of fun looking through all of the art. Thank you so much to everyone that sent in pictures. I'll be coloring four pictures in this video. Two of the line arts I picked myself and two were randomly picked. But first we're going to take a look at the markers I'll be using. Parku was super awesome and sent me their 12 pack of brush markers to try out. Parku is also sponsoring this video, but all thoughts and opinions are my own. These markers are alcohol based, quick drying, waterproof, and non-toxic. They have a brush nib and a chisel nib. I think it's really nice that the markers have a brush nib. I really love working with brush nibs because you can easily color small and large areas. I also find them to be really nice to blend with. The colors you get in this set are canary yellow, yellow green, lettuce green, baby blue, ultramarine, napoleon blue, pale cherry pink, rouge orange, marigold, gentian violet, brune, and black. To make things kind of fun, I've decided I'm going to use three markers for each of the four pictures I'm going to color. I'm going to pick the groups of three markers first, and then I'll decide which group I want to use for each picture. So I put all the colors into a bin, close my eyes, and randomly pick. I'm sorry the footage is pretty bad. <laughs> like I mentioned, my eyes were closed, so I couldn't see if I was in frame. So instead of making you watch this footage where you basically can't even see what colors I'm picking, I'll just show you what colors I got. I promised I picked them totally at random and yeah. <laughs> so the first set of colors I got was black, marigold, and pale cherry pink. The second group I got is lettuce green, gentian violet, and canary yellow. The third set is Napoleon Blue, Baby Blue, and Yellow Green. And because all of the other colors were picked, the only colors left for the fourth group is Rouge Orange, Brune, and Ultramarine. Now that the colors have been decided, let's see whose picture I'm coloring first. This first picture is by Kwai Alex OK on Instagram. I think the character is super cute. I like how they look all cozy and have all of their snacks like they're ready to watch a movie. I chose to use the first color set for this picture, so black, marigold, and pale cherry pink. I was actually really happy when I randomly chose these colors because I thought they looked really cute together. And I like how they're all a different value so they have a good amount of contrast. So I'm starting by using marigold for the hair and I'm trying to kind of shade the hair by flicking the marker so there's kind of a highlight in the middle of the hair. Flicking the marker makes it so not as much ink can soak into the paper because the marker is just kind of sweeping across the paper. So it is lighter in that area where I flick the marker. The color ends up being a lot lighter compared to if I was just pressing the marker into the paper. So the hair kind of gets a shaded look to it. For her robe, I use pale cherry pink. I really love this color. I like how pastel it is and it's really pretty. I was thinking about using black for the robe, but I thought it might be a little overpowering because a lot of the picture is the robe. So I decided to go with the light pink. Also, the paper I am using is a smooth cardstock. I usually use Georgia Pacific cardstock. It's pretty inexpensive and works well for markers because it is really smooth. I actually ran out of that paper, so I'm using some old cardstock that I had in my art supply cabinet. I decided to use the black marker on the shirt. It's not a super large area, so I figured that would be the best spot to use the black so it wouldn't be too overpowering. To help balance the coloring, I also use marigold on the shorts because we have marigold at the top of the picture. So by adding it in the shorts, it's also kind of at the bottom of the picture. Also, I didn't feel like black or pink would work here, so that only leaves marigold. <laughs> That's kind of the nice part about doing three marker challenges is that it kind of limits your options. Cause like sometimes it can feel overwhelming when you have a ton of options, but then it can be kind of nice when you limit them cause there's only so many options you can choose from. Also, I do really like the variety of colors you get in this set. I feel like you get a good amount of lighter and darker colors. I do wish that they had a light skin tone in this set, almost like the pale cherry pink, but a little bit more orange. So as I was coloring, I got the idea to let myself use some color pencils to add a little bit of shading and also color in the skin. I basically gave myself the 12 pack of Crayola color pencils plus the color peach. 
I know this kind of breaks the rules of the three marker challenge, but I wanted to show that even if you don't have a lot of marker colors, you can use some inexpensive color pencils to help add more colors and shading. Um, so I used the red color pencil to deepen the shading of the hair a little. For the skin, I'm using the color peach. Like I mentioned, I'm using a different cardstock than usual. And this one is super duper smooth. So smooth that the pencil kind of has a hard time coloring on it because there is no texture for the pencil to hold on to. So the skin ends up being kind of light. I did use the color orange red to add some blush to the cheeks. I also add a bit of shading to the rope of the color red. When I first got into markers, I only had a few colors, so I would often use color pencils to help me shade things. I was feeling kind of nostalgic while coloring these pictures, especially since I was using Crayola color pencils. So here is how the first picture turned out. I feel like it turned out nicely. Thank you so much to Quiet Alex OK for submitting your line art. This second picture was submitted by Anonymous Fan. <laughs> that is the name they used. Thanks for submitting your line art. The character is really cute. So the color group I chose for this picture is the fourth color group. So Rouge, Orange, Brune, and Ultramarine. I chose this set of colors because the colors are a little bit more natural and muted. The other color sets that are left have really bright colors and they didn't really seem like they would really fit this picture. Uh, so right now I'm coloring her hair with Brune, which is basically a darkish brown. Once again, like with the previous one, I am using a sort of flicking motion in the hair to help give a variation in color and a bit of texture. I feel like I need to try to use markers more often. I don't know if I talked about this recently. <laughs> I pretty much only use them in my YouTube videos. I never really use them in my sketchbook because they bleed through to the other side of the paper. Plus my current sketchbook does not like alcohol based markers for some reason. It just doesn't handle them well. But I want to level up my marker skills, so I want to try to use them more often instead of only like once every couple months. <laughs> For the dress I'm using Rouge Red, I was thinking about using Ultramarine, but it seems like it would be a little too dark and the hair is already kind of dark, so I thought the red would provide a nice amount of contrast. I decided to use the blue to color in the details like the bow and the frills on the sleeves. Also, I kind of mentioned this earlier, but there were so many amazing pictures submitted. I wanted to color so many of the pictures. <laughs> My sister and I sat for like an hour or something looking through all of the different submissions. The eyes of the character were blank, so I used a liner to add a highlight and the pupil in each of the eyes. While I was waiting for the ink in the eyes to dry, I decided to color in the flowers and start coloring the skin. This time to help the skin be a little darker, I used a lot of orange and red in the areas I wanted it to be shaded. Like I mentioned, it's kind of hard to color with the pencils on this super smooth paper. Even when I was pressing pretty hard on the orange pencil, it was still pretty light. After getting the shadows in place, I go in with peach and this time I was pressing really hard on the pencil to try to force the pigment onto the paper. <laughs> Because I needed to press really hard on the pencil, the coloring didn't turn out the smoothest. I tried to make it as smooth as I could, uh, but not everything blends together super nicely. I tried my best. <laughs> After shading the skin, I used color pencils in other areas like on the dress and her hair to deepen the shadows. I am finally coloring in the eyes. I couldn't decide what color to make them. For some reason, I kept going back and forth between Rouge Red and Ultramarine. I for some reason forgot that Brune is an option, but then I remembered that it was, so I went with that for the eyes. I also used a little bit of color pencil to help shade the eyes in a little bit. So here's my colored version of Anonymous Fans line art. It was a lot of fun to color, and I hope you like it. This next picture is by Sopa La Sopa, and it is super adorable. I love the character's outfit. So for this picture, I decided to use the second color group that was randomly chosen. So I'm using the colors Lettuce Green, Gentian Violet, and Canaria Yellow. To be honest, this was my least favorite groups of colors that were randomly chosen. And I was a little sad I had to use them on this super cute character. <laughs> I'm never a big fan of green and purple together. But one of the fun things about three marker challenges is that I use colors together that I wouldn't usually use together. Uh, so it was kind of interesting. So for the skirt, I used Gentian Violet and for the shirt, I am using Canaria Yellow, which I keep wanting to say Canary Yellow, <laughs> but it's Canaria Yellow. 
Also, I really like how the parkour markers perform. The colors are very bright and vibrant. They go down really smooth and the brush nibs feel really nice. The nib is not too soft or too stiff. It feels really nice to color with and I can easily color large areas and small areas. The markers do have a bit of a smell to them, but all alcohol-based markers kind of do. I don't find the smell to be unpleasant and it's not super strong, so that's nice. For the jacket, I was planning to use mostly lettuce green, but I thought it might be a little too much green since the jacket takes up a lot of the picture. So to color in the sleeves, I used the other colors as well. I feel like it turned out kind of cute and made the jacket kind of interesting. Like I mentioned, I wasn't a big fan of this color scheme, but as I kept using it, it kind of kept growing on me. And it was kind of fun using a new batch of colors that I wouldn't usually use. I thought it'd be kind of cute to keep the eyes simple. So I colored with the green in the middle and then used yellow in the bottom. I left the white blink for the highlight. I kind of like how the eyes turned out. This is how I do them for my chibi elf style. For the hair, I wasn't sure what color to use. I did think about using the dark purple, but the line art for the hair was so nice and had quite a bit of detail, and I felt like the purple would have hidden all of it. So I used the lettuce green again. To help it feel a little bit more interesting, I used the canaria yellow to add a highlight. I would flick the green marker towards the highlight area and then apply yellow in the middle. I feel like this helped the hair feel kind of interesting. Lastly, I used the color pencils to color in the skin and add some extra shading. And here's the finished picture. I'm actually pretty pleased with how the coloring turned out and I actually do kind of like the colors now. So yay. <laughs> Thank you so much to Sopa La Sopa for submitting your line art. Last but not least, we have this picture by Zenix. It is adorable. I love the shapes and the pose. It's all so amazing and cute. Uh, so this picture got the colors Napoleon Blue, Baby Blue, and Yellow Green. This picture has a lot of different elements. I wasn't sure how I was going to color all of them with only three markers. I do also have the color pencils, but I don't want to rely on those to color all of the different parts of the pictures. I do still want to mostly use the markers. I started by filling in the cloud shapes with blue. I know these are clouds, but I really felt like it would help the character pop if I colored them in. Uh, so I used baby blue to color them. This was a pretty large area, so it took me a while to fill it in. <laughs> I really like these parkour brush markers. This 12 pack is only $11.99 on Amazon. So each marker is $1 basically. This is a very good price for alcohol based markers, especially because they have a brush nib. Most inexpensive markers don't have a brush nib. A lot of times with marker sets, you need to buy really large sets that have like 24 or 48 markers or sometimes even more. So you have to spend more money. However, if you're looking to try out alcohol-based markers with a brush nib for a very affordable price, I definitely recommend these markers because you get to try out alcohol-based brush markers for only $12. I enjoyed using them and they performed really well. I don't have any issues with the markers. So for the character, I decided I would mainly use the green for her. When coloring in her hair, I left white spaces for the highlight. The liner kind of gives me a sort of pop art kind of feeling, I guess. So I wanted to keep the coloring really simple, flat, and vibrant, and also keep the highlights really simple. I used the dark blue on the underside of her dress. I thought this would give a good amount of contrast. I also use it for the handle of the umbrella. I wanted to mostly use the green for the character because like I mentioned, there are a lot of different elements in this picture and I thought by giving the character all green, it would help her stand out a lot. I'm also leaving a lot of the character blank so her dress will mostly be white with green accents. To help the character stand out even more, I used the dark blue for the umbrella. I wasn't totally sure if I wanted to do this because we would kind of lose the detail inside the umbrella, but I thought it would help the character stand out, so I went for it. I was really, really nervous while filling this area in because the marker is really dark and some of the areas I had to fill in were super tiny, so I was like barely touching the tip of the brush marker to the paper. <laughs> To shade the white dress, I used the sky blue color pencil. I often like to use the color light blue to shade white, so I feel like it makes them look kind of bright and happy. I decided to make the shading have a hard edge. It doesn't fade out softly. This kind of keeps the simple pop art cell shaded kind of look. 
I don't even know if I'm using the term pop art correctly. <laughs> Uh, but I hope you get the idea. I wanted to keep the colors and the shading really vibrant and flat and simple. Uh, so yeah. Lastly, for the skin, I simply shade it with the peach color pencil. So here are all of the pictures I colored in this video. Thank you so much again to everyone that submitted line art. You made this video possible. Thank you so much to Parku for sending me these markers to test out. I had so much fun using them. Thank you so much to my wonderful patrons over on Patreon. And last but not least, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!